today we're doing pizza we're going to require one cup of papas flour we'll also require two teaspoons of yeast here it is we need uh, one teaspoon of sugar with a pinch of salt we also need a cup of warm water here is a cup of warm water we, we need two tablespoons of cooking oil here it is and some flaked chicken this is chicken which is flaked we also have with us minced meat which has been fried with some onions we also have some veggies uh, we, we have green pepper carrot tomatoes and dania we need uh, cheese and tomato paste yeah ready to go now um, we're going to start with mixing the flour with the sugar so i'm going to use the sugar to mix in the flour and uh, the pinch of salt we also add the yeast here is our yeast add in the flour then put the warm water and oil to make a dough so we need to make a, a dough with this I put some water in here and also put uh, the oil Here is it then uh, we're going to make a dough for about 30 minutes and then uh, when it's done we make a good dough for that minutes and we, we, we cover it now you make a dough then you cover it for that minutes to make it rise in size so let's do this Got my final product still sticks a bit and so I keep on putting my off purpose flour. Mm, okay. mm, I've covered it with a pepper foil. So I'm going to put it somewhere warm for 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. Probably in the oven. So as I wait for my dough to rise, I'm going to start by dicing my my vegetables. Yeah, so that uh, I don't just sit back. I can be doing something meanwhile. Okay. So I'm done with chopping the vegetables. I got my onions, my carrots, my tomatoes, my dania and ho ho. I'm also going to do garlic. So I'm going to fry to make a sauce with all this, which I'm going to use while filling while filling the the spread dough to make pizza. By frying them in oil until they are golden brown. So, after frying the onions, we add the garlic. We fry a little. Then we add the other vegetables. We have everything cooking in here, we want to make a good sauce. So I'm going to cover it and cook under low heat to make um, to make those tomatoes to be well cooked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
but my tomatoes are well cooked. Huh? So I'm going to do a little water, add in there and let it uh, mix a good sauce. Yeah. I'll add some water. I know how to cook a little. I want to make a good sauce a bit. forget to add some salt to test. <laughs> I added that water and did some bit of salt and I'm going to do a little like two spoons, two tablespoons of tomato paste just to thicken this sauce. We want it to look like I'm getting there in the back. Yeah. When you do the when your sauce is well cooked, you 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 simmer, cook for around five minutes, uh, then you put off the the the, the banner. Thereafter, you let it cool before you spread it. Yeah, I'm going to see now this. Yeah. It's already sauce. Yeah, we let it cool. Meanwhile, I got the dough from the uh, the oven where I kept it seems to have risen very well and it's soft. Yeah. So now I'm going to peel it out, knead it again, and spread to the size I want. Oh, see that? This is good. This is so nice. This is so good. If it's too sticky, you add some flour. See my dough? How good it feels. So, I'm going to roll it with my pin here to make a good round. So, here is a spread uh, dough put in a, in a pan that you're going to use to bake with. Um, I'm going to start with spreading the sauce. Yeah, I do spreading the sauce on top of the dough. Completely to cover every space. So having covered the having covered the whole dough with the sauce, I'll follow it up with cheese. And just to remind you that I love using the mozzarella. Yeah, it gives me good results. So I just spread it. Spread the grated cheese over the sauce. Spreading it well and generously. To spread well and generously to cover every part of it. For a beginner, you'll be able to do this at home without any difficulties. Because I've taken it slow. And with caution, for anyone, even a slow learner can get this very fast. It's not difficult at all. You have to enjoy your pizza at home. Having done the cheese, having done the cheese so well, I'm going to follow up with the chicken flakes. 
chicken flakes we just spread 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 making sure that you do an even distribution hmm? on top of the pizza preparations are underway and we're doing good yeah hey, i'm already salivating this thing is yummy already yeah so after doing the chicken you can follow up with uh, our minced meat the beef this is the beef that we had prepared initially or add it on top also distribute it well generously make your distribution so generous so that uh, you don't have some parts well well covered with too much and others with less you need to have equal distribution then after you do get to that point you do your vegetable toppings if you have any so at this point i have my dania so to flake it out some little adding it to cover the pizza well when well. we're doing well and then we do the cheese once more after doing the cheese on top once again then we'll be going direct to the oven we bake it for 20 minutes 15 to 20 minutes will be enough uh, at 180 degrees and so let's wait and see what we get after 15 to 20 minutes don't worry about where the noise came from this girl is the one trying to interrupt me. Uh, I'm ready to align it in the oven. There. Yeah. And I'm setting my time to 15 minutes. 15 minutes there. Let's wait and see. Can I say, I already like what I'm seeing. Yeah, with much light, I can see that it's doing very well inside there. Let's wait to see the final product. We've got only a few minutes remaining. Around 10. And wow, we have our final product. A pizza made at home. Yeah. One of the best pizzas. Let's see how it looks. So you see it's well cooked. Yeah. It's so yummy, you can believe it. Yeah. It's so yummy, it's so it's so it's so good. Eh? Wow, just had a bite. Mm. Very yummy. See you then. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share. See you next time.